She says she love me, but she don't. Playing in my heart just like a repeat of a song. Tried to make it work. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and for today's video, we will be talking about online classes. So today is August 22 on a Saturday and I actually finished my first week of online classes already. This is what my schedule looks like and just a little background, I am a second year college student from USD and I am studying AB in Behavioral Sciences. My schedule is pretty forgiving. My classes starts from Monday to Thursday from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And with that, for some reason, I thought that I could vlog and the original plan was to post a first week of online classes type of vlog, but that went from this Good morning to this <laughs> So you know what? Instead of stressing you out with a freaking 10 minute video of me just struggling and being sleepy, why not just tell you guys what I learned? So here are some tips on how you can ace your online classes. Kinda. But so here are the things that I'm planning to do to make my life easier for online classes. Tip number one, it's pretty corny but it's very important as well. It is to manage your expectations. I know that none of us wanted to be here, sitting in front of our laptops to learn. We all just want to be inside the classroom, being with our friends, meeting new people, seeing our profs and stuff. But instead, we're here. One of the most important things that I've learned throughout this quarantine is that if you think about that, you really will get sad. So instead of thinking about what you're missing, start thinking about what you're gaining. Among the thousands of Filipinos out there who don't have the same resources as you do, who don't have stable internet to attend their classes and watch YouTube videos, you're here now. And even if it seems hard, because it is hard, you're still super lucky to have the money and the opportunity to be here to learn. So please, please don't take that for granted. Instead of thinking about how impossible and hard our situation is, start thinking about how lucky you are. You have this opportunity, so why waste it, right? Moving on to tip number two. It is to get rest. No, I started this with the privilege talk of how lucky you are and all of that, but that doesn't remove the fact that online classes are hard. Having to learn amidst a crisis where everyone is struggling is very draining and comes with a lot of pressure. So please remember to be kind to yourself. Get some rest if you need it because even if your professors or your classmates or everyone else make it seem like your grades are one of the most important thing, it's not. You should always be able to put yourself first. May it be your health, your mental health, your family's health. That's what's most important right now. So don't feel bad to take care of yourself first. The best way to do this without sacrificing your schoolwork is to just include rest days in your planning. What I saw from other people is that they rest only when they have free time or when they've done everything already but sometimes there's just so much to do and if you don't make resting also an opportunity, we won't have time to rest. Trust me that you deserve it. Sitting in front of the laptop instead of being in a classroom with your friends is way more draining, even if it seems easier. Okay, anyway, enough with the corny stuff. Let's move on to the less corny stuff. Number three is get some food. One thing that I've learned from my first week of online classes is that I get really grumpy really fast when I'm hungry. You won't function the way you should function if you go on about your day with an empty stomach. So please go get some food. Ang perk sa mga online classes is you can get some food while listening to your professors. And sometimes if you're shy to eat a whole ass meal, snacks are enough. According to research, here are some snacks that are healthy for your brain. Number one is grapes. Apparently, they're very good for your energy. So instead of getting some coffee that gives you energy for the first like five minutes, why not get some grapes? Because they're healthier. <laughs> Number two is you can get some apples or any fruits actually and dip it on peanut butter because that's very yummy and also very healthy. For number three, you can also get some healthy chocolates, the ones with less sugar on it because that's very good for your brain as well. And lastly, number four is nuts like almonds and walnuts. They're very good for your brain or your memory. But said they're very good. <laughs> So moving on to tip number four, it's to learn to ask questions. If you've been wanting to make a clarification with your professor, this is your sign. I know it can get pretty embarrassing, but online classes can get very confusing for everyone, even your professors. And sometimes you're not the best with saying and explaining things online. So if you're confused, start asking. It's better to do that than start guessing because 
you'll probably end up wrong. Make sure that you take note of their consultation times. Those are the times when they're free and you can message them. Usually, they nila to during orientations, but if they don't, you can ask them. Please don't be shy because it's part of their job to entertain your questions. And as long as you do it politely, you have nothing to worry about. And for all of those who don't know what to say, you can always start it with Good day, ma'am. I have a few clarifications. Number one, blah, 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 blah. number two, blah, 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 blah. I'm hoping for your kind response. Thank you. Or good morning, sir. If you have time, here are some of my questions regarding blah, 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 blah. Number one, blah, blah, blah. Number two, blah, blah, blah. And if you think that you have the same questions as a lot of your classmates, it's also a good idea to ask your president to ask them for you para hindi na sabay-sabay and it's gonna be hassle-free. Tip number five is if you have the luxury to do so, find a good learning environment. Even though it seems very much tempting to just spend your online classes sitting in your bed or lying in your bed, that's probably not the most ideal place to learn. A good learning environment should be clean, well lit, it should have everything you need and nothing that you don't need. So free from distractions. If you're lucky, natural lighting is a very good idea. It makes you feel more alive and productive. Another thing that helped me become less sleepy and more energized is by switching places in between my classes. So from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. usually I'm at the top of my room. And when I get bored there, I go down here and take my classes in our living room. And moving on to my last tip, this is a reminder to a lot of my friends. It is to take things one at a time. It is very easy to get overwhelmed, especially if you're doing everything at home and online. So make a list and do it one by one, instead of forcing yourself to finish everything at once. That's gonna make you more tired and make you take longer to finish. So do yourself a favor and calm down and just start doing stuff. And that's it for today's video. I know I just had here, but it makes me really happy to be able to share my thoughts with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it somehow and maybe you learned a little bit. If you liked it, make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We recently reached 500 subscribers and that makes me really happy. I say that all the time, but it does. So thank you so much, guys. See you next time. One, two, three. Fuck it.